what is it? Some of if them get the pink. roast. Some of them got the roast beef. You know is that roast beef's not pink. It's cooked roast beef. Y'all, so y'all have had. They got that. They got the. Uh, <laughs> they got the tan. They got the the tan twat. If their shit is other than <laughs> okay, so and you said it's something other than pink. Have y'all ever seen anything other than pink? I'm just pink saying, person? y'all. I'm yes. assuming. I'm assuming that if she has to, if she has to it goes describe lit. it to let you know, I'm assuming that she Sometimes, must know that not everybody's jaw is pink. Her coochie's pink and her booty hole's brown. This is, I don't. I, when's the last time you stared at a booty hole? I at your girl's booty often. hole. I do that quite often. <laughs> These notices is brown. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of do that quite often. I just, you know, what I'm saying? you know, like, got a, <laughs> you got a hand of brown Ooh. still too. Is there still some maybe some pink in there? It's some bright, it's some pink on the inside, I guess. If it's you think zebra. about it, it's it's a lot of it's some it's some depth. I mean, I remember niggas used to trim. Oh, y'all girls. not going to describe y'all? Nah, nah, it's, it's brown. It's brown. It's, it's ledge. Describe brown. my booty hole out. No, not yours. Oh, I was like, what the hell? The experience in looking at a um, said booty hole and being brown. Yeah, it's it's brown. I look at mine. It's brown. I don't want I, uh, you to look at yours. I'm wait, talk, wait, mine, wait, mine. wait, wait. I'm talking about mine. This is my girl. That means it belongs to me, not my actual asshole. Yeah, you didn't belongs. mean that. <laughs> yes, I did. I you actually did. That, buddy. I'm yes, just saying. My, my, booty booty my girl booty hole. Yeah, that's mine. It belongs to me. <laughs> Let me ask y'all a question before we continue. Before we continue. Before we continue. Before we continue. I've done this because sometimes it might be something going on back there. You like, all right, I, I, I got to look at this at this thing. <laughs> Have you ever looked at yours? To see if there was any, I'm talking about a hemorrhoid. I'm talking about you got some pain back there or just something. You like, all right, y'all, I gotta see what the fuck is going on there. I think I had a hemorrhoid one time. The first time I got a hemorrhoid, yeah, I chill. Uh, the fuck is going? Oh man, got a check, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've never gotten a hemorrhoid. Or, uh, God forbid. I you gonna to check it out? Irritation? Uh, not in my booty hole. This nigga too cool. This nigga too cool to have hey, asshole. Everybody gotta have booty hole problems, huh? Yo, you too cool to have asshole complications. I forgot. Thank you. <laughs> oh, who was Thank that? You. Who said that? Shit? No, I was working with a nigga Charlie. that called out. Of, Charlie called out of work. He's like, I'm having asshole complications. <laughs> nigga yeah. called out. That's how he called out of work, though. I haven't gotten to that point in life yet, and I hope I don't. I've looked. I've looked. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm a man. I never had to look at my booty hole. I mean, I might have had to check my ass cheeks. Or the back of my legs, but I've never had to spread eagle and look and look, figure out a way to look in my booty hole. Spread fucking eagle. Get, get yeah, him. How re- else you gonna get up in there, brother? You got get, get a phone cheek. or a mirror. Go ahead, get a hemorrhoid. You're gonna be looking at your asshole. Get a phone. I'm not gonna go ahead and get a hemorrhoid. <laughs> no, no, let me send you one. You'll send them one. It's uh, like, go ahead and try that cheesecake. Yo, send them a hemorrhoid. Get a hemorrhoid. Wait, go ahead and get a hemorrhoid. You know, get a hemorrhoid one time. You're gonna be back there looking. You're like, something ain't I'm right. Uh, I'm gonna regularly make sure that, that thing clean, clean. Yeah. We, we, how we got to this conversation is beyond dude wipes. <laughs> dude wipes. Yeah, I never hear a dude wipe. Never mind. Go ahead with your with your soliloquy. No, I'm just saying how we got to this. <laughs> What's up, opinionated family? How y'all doing? Yeah, happy Sunday. Yeah, no, nah, we was talking about how we got to this shit. We was talking about I got Big Sexy Red is her name, the rapper who's just I don't know her name. Red. Just Sexy Red. That's sexy it. Red. I don't fucking know. Listen, <laughs> I, I'm not in like That's I'm okay. I just told you her name like three times before. This. I know, but I'm like, I I can see it. I am getting more and more detached from the rap game because it's just it's different now. It's fucking just it's just different. It's just different good or different bad. I mean, it's some good and it's some bad. Like you got still some dudes that fuck with the lyrics and shit, but then you got you got some people that are just just making these random ass songs. Shit don't make sense. Like like the chick sexy rap. I think her shit was. I don't even think she was like. Was she a rapper? I don't know. I just know, like, I seen, I guess I seen, like, a video on the internet, her making that reference, Pussy Pink and Booty Hole Brown, and next thing I know, she's, like, the biggest rap star out there. Like, I'm like, where the fuck did she come from? Like, what mixtapes did she have before this and all this other shit? It is, it is 2023. Yeah, so you can just become a, a sensation social, overnight. Social media is your mixtape, bro. Oh, yeah. Let's look at, uh, what the, I was just reading something, Ice Spice, she had, I think it was, it was like, 700 
seven hundred listeners on Spotify and over a year she's up to like four billion or some shit like that. There you go. So it's some it's crazy it's shit. Marketing. It's all marketing, man. But like the reason we doing this podcast is like shit like is is like uh, to me personally, it just seems like it's just like getting over fucking just ratchet. It's just like it don't seem like there's a lot of skill involved with female rappers no more. There's no it don't seem like it's diverse anymore. It seems like either you and it might be some it might be some females out there that actually just spit but don't gotta put on display. I mean younger ones. There there are some that are younger that don't gotta put on this whole Let me ask you. Cause 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 yeah, you 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 drying paint. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Do you like Scarlet? I think she's ass. Who? Scarface? Scar lip. <coughs> oh, that's the chick that be show. Oh, fuck out be... New York. That that chick. Fuck out New York. That yeah. nigga, nigga yep. bitch. Let's, let's oh, have good conversation. Lord. I don't know who that is, so I'll listen. In <laughs> I seen I seen the chick like when she first did the John Scar lip her first. Do that shit again. <laughs> Get the fuck out New York. This, I'm like this bitch y'all some this bitch y'all some cocaine. <laughs> Hey, turns <laughs> to a fucking robot. Yo, but that's how that bitch was looking in the video. A fucking purple wig, with some dirty ass wig on. It's like All it right. looked like it's it, no. The video looked like it stank. <laughs> it just looked like, <laughs> <laughs> like that video looked like I like it's some funky ass vagina, some armpits in there. Somebody ain't washed today. That's what that video looked like. <laughs> so I'm looking at this shit, and then I'm like, that's I'm like. That was everybody coming out like as soon as they get on, it's just like, all right, cool. Cause she like a nigga. Now everything is like, what is she all everything is dialed up now? I'm like, yo, I don't give a fuck what you throwing that motherfucker. You take her to a swimming party, you <laughs> you're gonna rethink that decision with her. So ratchet. <laughs> yes. Hey yo, what what the hell just happened there? I don't nah. know. Nah, you ever see like she she in her first in her first video, Scarlet? <laughs> that nigga was rough looking. That bitch looked like she been through a couple of fights. <laughs> he's, no, he's correct. He's absolutely. Correct. I haven't he's seen. I don't know who she her. is. So he's going I, don't know. Her. I don't know why. That That's nigga look thing. That nigga look like she fought niggas. Like she fought her nigga straight straight up, and probably won a couple of shit. I mean, heads up, took full swings and everything. Go ahead. Can't beat her, can't. And then they, and then ahead, they like fishing forward, please. And then, then she got on. Now they try to throw makeup and shit on her and a wig. She's like, ain't too much you can do to that man. All right, let's move on. <laughs> you, you, you sprinkle, you sprinkle, uh, you sprinkle fucking fairy dust that's, on shit. That's, it's still that's, shit. That's Scarlet. Hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet has a scar on her lip. Uh, if you sprinkle fairy dust on shit, it's still shit. <laughs> it can float now, but it's still shit. <laughs> you know, I gotta hear more records. From her. Like, um, I do. Seriously, yeah. really so, so, okay. So, I posed the question earlier that what is really the difference between the ratchet rappers, um, or just ratchetness, um, now? from when you know we considered it to be freedom of expression however long ago that was for you or if you still do so that's really what this conversation is about i pose the question what's the difference between what um uh cam trainer yeah like I are you talking about with rap or just life in general? in general but these people are these people are who we're looking at like i can't tell you about any ratchetness going on in my life because everybody i know is 30 something and above everybody that I, other than the people i see at work so i'm likening it to maybe the rapping females because they seem to be at the forefront of style and and kind of how what we see to, to to how women carry themselves, young women. I say back in the day when I hate saying back in the day, but when Lil Kim was doing it and she was talking about sucking dick and, and doing all this crazy shit, it might have seemed crazier to our parents. But when it comes to us, we was like, she talking that shit. She getting my dick hard a little bit listening to her talk. Her sh- I'm not going to pretend like I'm alone, but she getting my dick hard the way she talking at the time when I was a kid. Hey, she was, Trina got one. Hold on, I'm about to land. <clears throat> Trina got one song that still gets me a little titillated to this day, where she um the song with her and Killer Mike. 
She talking about spinning around and keeping the dick still inside. I said, you could do that? <laughs> oh, y'all know what I'm talking about. She get busy. I don't know what look back at it is. Uh, oh, look back at it. Oh, yeah, I know what look yeah, back at it. Hey, yo, when you said that, I thought about it. I was like, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, yo, she was like, she said, yo, I was, I was grown. Yeah, <laughs> said, she oh, break dancing on the dick. <laughs> yeah, like, they could do that? Yeah, so yeah, I feel like I feel like when you heard the music back then, they were actual. I feel like compared to now, they're better lyricists. So when they're talking that talk, there's also other shit that's coming along with it that you're like, oh shit, she's saying some shit, and she gonna suck some dick too. Wait, <laughs> you know let me mean? ask you a question, bro. What rhymed with spinning around and keeping the dick still inside? What rhymed there? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know. I don't. I don't remember. I just want you to tell me what the next lyric was because I don't uh, remember. <laughs> one yo, bit. yo, in my opinion, I'm just saying, like, like with Little Kim and shit, like when Little Kim was rapping, she was talking. You know what I mean? She was up there with Lil C's and all them, and you hold you held her as one of the greats because. She was able to talk that shit and get on some other shit, you know what I mean? And and she was bad too, but I feel like the shit that happens today just took it to a different level where she might have talked about it and she might have gave you like a little peekaboo, but she didn't give you the full feature. I feel like these bitches out here going in the club, giving out the full feature, bending over, showing whatever they got, you know what I mean? To to try to get views, really, to to get noticed. Lil Kim was doing that because she was already in the game making money off of music. Now it's like, oh, I'm gonna do this and they're gonna notice me, or I'm gonna get this holy fans and they're gonna notice me. They're gonna get this, I'm gonna get this money off of off of giving you the whole thing instead of just talking that talk and letting it be some side some sort of a mystery. Because even though you might have seen Lil Kim in some promiscuous lingerie, if she ain't never I ain't never seen no video where she out there showing the twat. There was there was rumors. I think that's just because there wasn't no camera phones. If there was camera phones and and more video being taken back in the day, I think we would have got a lot. We'd have got a lot more crazy shit stories. We would have saw the vanilla ice getting hung over the ledge. We'd have saw a lot of crazier shit than we this. than we actually see now because this is more of a way of life. A lot of them bitches that get on OnlyFans, they don't necessarily fuck. They just they just that's just more. That's just a better way of them. So I got the lyrics to look back at it when y'all ready, though. But y'all go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Here's with the lyrics, man, real quick. So let's just compare. I just, all right. Go ahead. Please. A go pussy ahead. pink, her booty hole brown. Okay. 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 I got an ass so big like the sun. Okay. Hope you got a mile, a mile full of dick. I want to run. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Slap it in my face. Shove it down my throat. Mm. Nigga, wear your blunt. I can make this pussy smoke. Ooh. I know how to fuck. I know how to ride. I can spin around and keep the dick still inside. I got one more. I'm just going to leave it there. Now your mouth wide open, looking real scared. I'm a man eater, head hunter. I'm prepared. Proceed. Right, so, still okay. get my dick hard to this, this is day. my tip. Yeah, that, <laughs> I know the song you talk about. That's a club. That's that's a club banger right there. You wanna you wanna that's get a chick shit, on you in the club? Yeah, in the club that they go crazy for that shit. So, but that's that's all um, you gonna react to. All right, it's cool. Nah, nah, I, I'm I'm gonna do, I'm getting into my shit. What, what I think yeah. the difference is between now and then, like I I got stating off air. Like you had Kim's, you had the Foxies. Uh, the Trinas, they was like, you know, they had that little niche of, okay, these are the sexy Jones. Then you had like the Eves, um, the Rod Diggers, uh, Remy Ma's, they the hood Jones. You know what I'm saying? Like they was just, they was hood with it. You know what I'm saying? But it was like they had a little, they wasn't so much with the exposing sure. themselves sexually but they just was like a little bit more hood with the shit they they look sexy in their videos but they you know what i mean everything wasn't exposed it, it was like uh then you had the missies i'm trying to think who else was that the, you had the brat um and not, who else was out at that time <laughs> but you it's had that types. so you had a diverse like look of women rapper to look at at that time and listen to you get what i'm saying 
and they were being pushed and it was all like on equal footing at the same time. All of them had time to shine where now, which I don't like the newer generation. I, I, I it just only thing you're pushing is, you know, would you Sukiana, uh, ice spice, sexy red. Ooh, I don't know. You just push, you just pushing all this. Fuck man. I'm just going to say, I'm mean, just pushing this whole shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's cool. They 20 years old. Like, what the fuck do they know? They ain't getting locked into no marriage, <coughs> no man, no nothing. So that's cool. They can do that. They That's how they want to dress. And they have their ass out. They titties out. I ain't mad at them. They young. They still got the body to flaunt that shit off. Go ahead and do it, man. You know what I'm saying? When you get older, you probably cover it up because your shit ain't going to be looking this tight. And you might have a different look on life. You might have kids by then. You want your kids seeing that like. But it just seems like now it's just all they want to push out there to us is this is the only rapper we're pushing. Like your daughter got to have a red wig or purple wig. Her titties got to be out. Like she got to be. There's some fucking video of her doing some weird ass loot act. They just uh, man, I mean, listen. I they look. The argument that that's just freedom of expression. It and is. The, it and is. The reason why you see it now is because of social media and the way that people promote themselves. So it's it's just in your face more. It's in your daughter's face more. It's in your little cousin's face more. So I make that argument. It's not that it's that different from what we've always experienced. It's just that social media makes it more in your face. When your parents, all they had to see was videos that you watch here and there. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Multiple pauses. Multiple pauses. That's still my shit, though. I love that song. <laughs> you got to pause that whole shit. But that's that's what I'm saying, though. It's like, yes, we know that there's a dip. There's other. There's Rhapsody now. There's that's not the that's not the conversation. The conversation is wretchedness. Is Yo. it really a difference between then and now? It is, bro. It, it really is, man, because it's just. Eh. I mean, bro, yeah, it's, he, come on, man. Then, then talk about it. Don't tell me, shit, don't tell me I kinda, was good I kinda, back then. Bro, it's some shit. Some, said. If there was cameras, some, if there was video phones, if there was a lot of shit that was able to exploit people, I think that that shit probably would have came up more often as phones. And you know what? It, it's not even really just having cameras. It's really because, remember, there was videos like, you remember, you remember they had the... Uh, what was the tour? The Rockefeller tour, the Rockefeller Rough Rider tour. Oh, I remember. Uh, and they had the video for that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But imagine if if they had social media for that shit. You right. see what I'm saying? Social media is what drives this shit to be what it is. I mean, there's a chick it, sucking them off in the bathroom in that uh, in that one joint. That's what I'm though. saying. Yeah, 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 for real. I'm saying it, they had cameras and shit. But they knew how to they knew how to use the shit for their own benefit and not somebody else using uh, it to exploit them. You I'm know what I mean? You. Now it's just there's nowhere you can go without a camera being available. There's nowhere you can go and do some shit unless you're in the privacy of your own space where ain't nobody else around but those you trust. And sometimes even the ones you trust fuck you over. You know what I mean? And it's just it's it's just no it's just no space privacy really and the thing that happens most is it goes on social media and everybody gets to see it and everybody has an opinion about it <clears throat> if the opinion about it is more positive in your eyes than negative then if you see some shit you're gonna do some shit you know what i mean uh, motherfuckers probably that a lot of women who are in the rap game probably look back at little kim look look back at trina yeah. and as as the starters of the shit and they're thinking that they're taking it to a new level you know what I, I mean? Can read lyrics again if y'all want, but yeah. No, nah, no, nah, they take, they take. <laughs> all right, let's get it right. They they're taking it to. I'm not gonna lie, they're taking it to another level. Again, I ain't mad at them. They young, but you can see the shit transitioning into the streets. Like I, I remember I, I was walking in a Walmart. Chick had the like the like the halter the top shirt on, no bra. I'm looking like, where the titties can stay up, nipples poking. You can see a little, a little bit under boob, and you like this is some shit. You would see in the club, kind of a creep. First, no, I'm just looking. I'm looking like because you remember, dog. Let's be real. This is shit that you've seen in a club, not in a Walmart buying shit. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Not in a Walmart buying shit. 
You get this is shit, even in the club. The clubs is wild now. You got clubs, chicks coming to the clubs with the straight fishnet with just little the little patches that cover up their nipples. You are absolutely correct about that. But let me let me be quite clear. You are absolutely I cannot say that you're not correct. Yes. Yes, you are correct. They're coming it, there with stripper outfits. Yes. Yeah, so it's like it's not it's cool. What Kim and them was doing it, it was like, yo, that shit was for them entertainment and that style of dressing like that. You had a small pocket of handful of girls that dressed like that because they was cool with the label they got or the label niggas at that age gave them. Because let's be real, you gave them labels. You gave them that label. I'm sorry, you gave them the label, that's yo, that shit, whole whatever. And they come to the club, they 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 cool with that shit. But now it's like that label don't exist no more. And okay. niggas ain't niggas ain't pressing that 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 you know, ain't pressing to give a chick that whole label. It's like everybody like they go to the store like that. I, I went to I see him lining up at the club. I be looking at the outfits they got him. I'm like, yo, fucking, fucking club you be. Like, yo, you ride. You ever ride? You ever ride? Well, you ain't in Philly no more. So, like, you riding down where all the shit like uh, uh old town Philly. You ride through that shit and you like, you see him getting into the club. You like, yo, that is a complete see through outfit. She got pasties on and a thong and some heels. It's a fishnet outfit. Let's I'm be like, clear. Dre lives I'm like, what? The I'm place like, where you can see the most. Yes. <laughs> but, but you say, you, you, but I'm saying, like, that was in the, like, majority of the females was wearing this shit going into the club where you might have, back then, you might have had a small handful of girls that was, I guess, confident enough to go outside like that. That was just everywhere. And like I said, motherfuckers going to the store, just going to Walmart. I'm let like, me, yo, this bitch ain't got no bra on. This bitch let ain't got no let me, let me Let me offer, let me offer just a, a, a little bit of a, not necessarily pushback, but I, I, I'm throwing out there that because their parents, because their parents, fuck, phone is that? My phone. Damn old ass. Nigga got the fucking commercial. The commercial. No, 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 no. That shit is yeah, I didn't. I, no, I didn't. no, 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 no. <laughs> I got no. the regular ringtone. I ain't switching my ringtone. Where the fuck? Yeah. yeah, niggas still downloading songs and fucking put as a ringtone. No, they just have iPhones. <laughs> fuck have iPhone. That's why I got that bum ass phone. Oh. <laughs> Took pictures against an iPhone this weekend. The iPhone pictures looked at ass compared to my pictures. But proceed. We not even talk about about that. Let's go on. Let's move Um, on. So I would I would like to offer this: that these women with these kids that are now on social media and now are dressing with fishnets, that their parents were more into Lil Kim and fans of Lil Kim and and people like that's kind of what they came up in. So maybe it just kind of goes. As time goes on, just like just like the kids now are into guns that they've never shot or that they've shot, shot, show, shot, shoot, whatever. Shot, nigga. And <laughs> it's it's more prevalent. Shot it's it. more prevalent. <laughs> shoot it. So I would like to offer the 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 retort that it's it's more prevalent now for them to dress. Like hoes, as you would say, because you would, you judge you judge women. Yeah, I judge. I judge that, uh, I that no maybe, way to fucking call it, but a hoe. Maybe you know? that they're just more comfortable in their skin. Huh? Maybe they're uh, more comfortable in their skin. Who says they're leaving the club? This club that you speak of, uh, yo, I want to know the club you go to. Nigga, but, you ha, go, Dre. Right. Just ride. Go to Miami one time. No, ride. Pa- you don't even got to go in the club. Just <laughs> okay, go. Okay. You li- you live near Miami. Just ride down the strip of people getting into a club and look at the oh, it's, half it. No, oh. it's bad down here. This shit is different down here. It, 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 it's different. And you're exactly what you're saying. But like I'm saying, like maybe they just feel more comfortable in their skin. It doesn't mean that they're actually leaving and fucking these people. No, it doesn't I, mean that they're saying, come get some pussy. But maybe they just feel more comfortable than how... You know, we used to be when we was younger. Because even with the the shirt with the no bra, and the, my the wife wear no bra. Maybe sometimes. or maybe like her shit just ain't perky like back in the day. But your wife, you like your or, wife go to store no bra, or or yeah, she might. 
She might have a hoodie on or something like that because no, she's no, a little no, bit no, different. No. But when I'm here, hold on. What T-shirt. I'm saying is, go back to go back to girls going to the to the store with uh, pajama pants on. That was a big thing when we was younger. <laughs> no, 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 no panties on. Like you understand what I'm saying? Like to me, that yeah. doesn't represent. Oh no, nah, she in here. That's just. It could be comfort. They're just more comfortable <clears throat> in their skin. I oh. want you to give me a better. <laughs> argument I'm not. Than, I will. I'm not, I'm I'm not I, judging them to get being comfortable with their skin. What I'm saying is, you ain't comfortable like, in their skin. Oh my god! It's like it's more like you is is not a it's not like a variety of how females was. It's like let's be fucking real, Dre. Right? At 23 years old, if you had if you say two females came to you like who are you wifing up? Are you wifing up the chick that's half dressed, everything hanging out? Or are you wifing up the one that is a little bit more, you know what I mean, covered up, a little bit less revealing, but still looks good? Let's be real. Who are you wifing up, Dre? I mean, you're missing context, but. No, no, yeah, no. Okay. No. Preference, they both preference. look good. They both look good. They okay. both are I mean, attractive. context, but go ahead. What context am I missing? Context is where am I seeing them at? Are they at my house? Dude, and the girl I'm just walks trying- out the room with, with her cat suit on because I fuck with that. No, you're not. If you were to holler at a chick, you seen this. This is how they come to Walmart now. You're seeing two chicks at a Walmart that you're going to approach, that you like, you attracted to. You probably, you're probably going to holler at the one that's more revealing in the clothes, but you're not going to be, you're not going to want to take that no farther than what it's going to go because you're like, yo, you can't keep you my girl, like, I understand it's cool to dress like that, but damn, you got dressed like that every time you leave the house. Okay. You're gonna be less. You're gonna be less into that. So you will pick the girl that's a little bit. That are you? Ha- no, come on, man. You just said it last week on the last podcast. Your girl got I dressed mean, up to go. You you said it. She got dressed up to go the fuck out, and you like, okay. yo, where are you going? No, no, no. I, she got dressed up in something that she doesn't usually wear. I didn't say she looked crazy. No, nah, it wasn't normally crazy. Wear dream, jeans and certain shit like that, unless she's going out with me. So when she put that on to go out with the girls, I was like, oh, okay. who are you wearing jeans for? Who you, you know what I mean? She's not that type. I didn't say she went out there in a fucking cat suit or fish uh, stockings <laughs> or some shit. So no, and, and when you're older. out and, and, and as a single, as a single man, thinking how I thought as a single man, yeah. If you go and and I know you thought this because I've been with you times yeah. and you said this in in my face, when you go out and about, no matter where you at, if you're going to approach someone and you're on the hunt, you automatically that's the first thing you see. If you somebody's wearing something that appeals to you sexually, mm. it draws you in sexually. So you're gonna go for that first, then the one who's not dressing as sexually because you know. What you're trying to get as a single person. Now, when you get that, the whole dynamics could change because when you're dealing with them on that personal level, they might have some type of intellect. They might can hold yeah. a conversation with you. They might bring 50-50 to the table. Now, maybe they wore that just to attract a person like yourself. But and what now about- she got you. Now she can dress like that for you and don't got to dress like that. But for what about else. if... But I also been in the other situation where, but that's she where dress the like that comes in. She, I've been in other situation where I met you. You dress like that every day. Who you, you know talking what I'm about? Saying? Don't nobody, ain't nobody comfortable in a cat suit every day. Not a cat suit. <laughs> not even a <laughs> cat suit. That woman. No, no, not it's a cat suit. Woman. Selena Kyle. No, I knew a girl that, <laughs> that did. I knew. I, I knew a chick dealing with young. This is young shit. Not even a cat suit. Sometimes have a mini skirt, no underwear on it. Like I caught this motherfucker. Okay. All right, you don't believe me? I'm gonna tell you who it is after the show. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you who it is after the show. Wish I could where did it where? Out. And you just seen her somewhere randomly like that? We we'll talk at the show. Look, you gonna know exactly what I'm talking look, about. Look at, your phone, look at your phone. Look at your phone and but, show me. But but you just seen her somewhere? Like you met her for the first time. And you met her with a mini skirt on with no drawers on. That's what you're saying. That did you? Oh, you know, can't can't multitask. I'm I'm not. What you say? Go back. I'm reading the text. Hey, they, who you say again? <laughs> Bro, I said you met this person for the first time <laughs> in public, mini skirt, no drawers on. When you see the name, tell me if I didn't. 
And don't read out all that. Just send y'all a text. Tell oh, me no, if I'm I didn't see it. Out him. Out. <laughs> no, don't. Don't tell me if I didn't. Tell me if I'm lying if I didn't see this person like this. <laughs> yeah, y'all got the message, right? All the time. Okay. All the but, time, boy. But, but listen, time, boy, that is in the title of her name, though. <laughs> I ain't getting no message. <laughs> That is all the time. No, all the time was on that, and it was cool. I wasn't mad at that shit. I was like, I'm fucking with that. But when it went um, to like, yo, let's take this shit serious. It's like, no, take this shit serious. <laughs> but this shit serious. let's go back to your original question. The you thing said, about it is, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to the original question. <laughs> if I had the choice between the one in the mini skirt, okay, there's a lot of stuff that goes into that. Something might lead me to pick the woman in the mini skirt or the cat suit, depending on how I feel that day, depending on what I'm looking. You said to wife. To wife. Who said yeah. the one in the cat suit don't respect herself? Like who said that's what I'm saying? There's so many things that go into uh, that. Okay. I, I should have worded it like that. Okay. Let me let me put it. To, let me give it to me. The, okay. Yeah, you got two, you got two, you got two females, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. You, you got one. Clean. You got one a little bit more conservative with her body as she goes out. A little okay. bit more conservative how she dress, but when she wants to be sexy, she can put the sexy on. Oh, okay. Then you have the other one that is always on sexy, no matter how you walk out the door, whether you with her, whether you not, is always on that. Alpha is always on ten. Can I fight? <laughs> In fuck this fight. Fuck, can, no, fuck fight. In this universe, can I fight? Do I carry a gun? Can, Do I go? Oh, you can fight. You can fight, but she goes to this at things. She goes to see your, your your parent, your family house on Thanksgiving with grandma and aunts, your aunts and your mom's around. Mm. And mm. you know your mom. Your mom's a god fearing woman. And you bring this into the house. What do you think the first words is going to come out of all these old women's mouth? Mm. Baby, put some clothes on where your clothes at i got a sweater for Dre, you. why you dre why yeah dre why you bring your mom why you bring this girl to my house looking like this look at her mom <laughs> oh no look at her please <laughs> nigga please <laughs> look nigga <laughs> please god rest my soul my grandmother was alive my grandmother said some some chicks came through the crib like that she said yeah, but your grandma said that about fully dressed women <laughs> she'll say some crazy shit about them <laughs> but i'm Wait, saying gosh. You, know what I'm saying? you got one. You got one that knows when it's time to get sexy like that, and you got one that just don't know when to dial it back in. And you wanted her to. Sometimes you want to dial it back in, and she's like, "Well, this is me. Like, why are you trying to control my body? I'm free with my shit." Who are you going to be more likely to fucking say, you know what? This is who I want to. This is who I want to be with. At 21 to 25, you know what? The one that's wilding like that, you. You cool with that? You, you're young, so yes, you are correct. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna play with you anymore. Yes, the one who I'm going to be more likely, especially that she could get sexy on her own. The one I'm gonna be more likely to wife is the one that is fully dressed. But I'm not gonna say that there is not a a place for the one who dresses not necessarily in a cat suit, but maybe with tight shit on all the time, who got the body that's fucking crazy, and she just likes to show it off. There's there's people out there that we all got little cousins yeah. that got a girl that be dressing crazy, but that's his bitch. She respect him, he respect her, and they love each other. They, You know what I'm saying? About to have a kid, all that shit. <clears throat> there's people in this world who wife those women. Yeah. Bro, I'm, and you, it's nothing... And there's nothing wrong with that shit. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that shit. But it was a time at, it was a time and point, and I guess it's not maybe it's not so much prevalent now. But it was a time when chicks dressed like that and they would mess with dudes. Dudes would treat them like shit and they didn't deserve to be treated like shit. Cause they was actually sometimes good fucking people. You know what I'm mean? they were, you actually sat there and talked to them. They were good fucking people. That's just how they like to express themselves. <laughs> but the niggas just yo, I would see niggas dog, I'm like, yo, she a hoe. Kev. Yeah, I know. I, bro, I love you, but yeah. let me tell you. Let me tell you what you're doing right now, and this is the new title of this this yeah. particular one. You're definitely hoe shaming, bro. Mm -hmm. You are hoe shaming. I don't give a fuck. Why would you? Why they hoe? Why you calling them hoe? I'm not hoe shaming. 
you're a hoe. It's hoes that are hoes, and it's and there's hoes and there's women that are women. You said that some of them are good people. Why can't oh. all of them be good people? Why does their sexual sexuality not make them good people? Man, because it's something that will fuck you. You leave the house and, and fuck your cousin. The, the fucking fully dressed motherfucker could. What are you talking I know about? that. It's, I'm just saying, but it's like, yeah. yo, it's not, it's not that. Like when they, you own, have to when, be. Do you okay, have to dress some type of way to be a hoe? No, when you they could own, be fully dressed and, and yeah, still no, be a you could be a hoe. But when they on tip, you know, a bunch of fully dressed hoes. When they on tip, yeah. <laughs> when they on tip, when they on tip all the time with their outfit, when they on tip all the time with their outfit, you go walk down the street. You got you walk past a group of five niggas and you by yourself. Now you get unnecessary unnecessary bullshit coming your way. Damn, shorty. And she look at you gonna let them talk to you like bitch. Nigga, it's I will pretend five I of, hear them niggas <laughs> like a motherfucker. It's five of them. And you came out the house <laughs> good and damn well know you was getting the type of attention. It's five of them. It's one of me. Yes, I can say, hey, that's my lady. Well, your bitch shouldn't have came out the house. Looking like that, and I seen niggas, chicks get. I seen niggas in Philly and on South Street. Listen, disrespect the fuck out of niggas, girls. Listen, because that girl came out the crib wallet and homie get to argue with them nigga. Next thing I know, this nigga t shirt all ripped up, he all bloody and staggering, and niggas whipped that nigga ass. You, you ever walk out the house with a thorough? You ever walk down the street with a thorough bitch? A pretty bitch. <laughs> You know yeah, that happens. You know that happens even when they fully dressed. I've walked down the street oh, yeah. with a nice looking, nice looking chick and had to deal with that. I had to deal with niggas saying some shit, and then you just gotta say some shit. So it ain't about it ain't you read my text, right? Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, it ain't busy. all right. It ain't about <laughs> if they dress a certain way or not. If you got a pretty chick, you're gonna have to deal with that. I've dealt with that with a pretty with a pretty girl, and it just had to be like that. And she was dressed. Like she should be dressed, and I had that shit. So now what? It's cool that her face, like niggas, is complimenting on her motherfucking face and how she All looking. Right. Man, nah. fuck out of here. Nah. I mean, she can Man. be bad, dog. She can be bad. Let's be real. She can be bad. But it's gonna be like, yo, like, come on, man. Like, like you get pissed, like, yo, like, all right, it's cool. I understand you sexy, but like, yo, some of this shit is mine that only I should be seeing. You are one fucking. Okay. Now we're you're talking. one. You're one breeze away from the wind blowing the wrong, wrong way, and your titty being out, or your ass being out. One lean over your ass out. Like I was doing. I remember a chick wore a dress one time, and every time she like would like lean over, she had to pull the dress. She sat down, she had to pull the dress and tuck it down. Or she like I got to stand behind her. I'm like, yo, why the fuck would you wear that? And you can't even. Be comfortable the whole time. I'm trying to be sexy. I, yo, man, listen. I'm trying to be sexy. Be sexy for me. Yeah, or you trying to be sense. no, I'm trying to be sexy for you. I'm like, yo, let's be real. That's sexy in the crib. We we out. Like you could wear something tight and it's cool. You show you, you want to show you your figure off. Cool. Okay. God damn, like yo, your ass is hanging out. Your half your titties is out. Like niggas can see your areolas through this fucking cheer right. shit. I'm like. Come on, man! Like you, you doing you doing too fucking much. Like who are you really? Like who are you really trying to impress? Like who are you really trying? To, I seen you naked. So who are you really trying to impress with this shit? What What do you think about the, the girls that get their nipples pierced? That shit is cool. I listen, you can it, see it, it through the shirt. That's why it I looks. Like. They do it. On, they do it on purpose. They get their nipple pierced and never wear a bra again. Mm. It's cool. I, I listen. I don't like. They ain't my fucking girls. They young. It's, it's a lot of young. I, I ain't never seen the bitch that had, had kid titties get their nipple spears. They take them out. Let me the, one. the fucking nipple piercing at their belly button. Like, let them big ass volleyball titties with little shit in them. I love them shits. That's, yeah, listen, it's cool, man. But you, you get your, you like dick. Did you get both sides of your belly pierced? No, nigga, I got my nipples pierced. Oh, I love that oh. shit. You titty, you titty shaming now. I love them big long titties. Right, you got your fucking. <laughs> thought. I was just watching an ad on Facebook with some lingerie for some old bitches. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> big long, yo, big long titties look good in the bra. They do. They, they really get, do. Yeah, they get pushed like up. Them you take them out. Them shits go. But yeah, <laughs> my favorite thing to do. They take them out. Them shits. Them shits. Yeah. Like <laughs> got to pick them up. Got to pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. You pick them up and 
Jimmy's got a shag in it like this. Hey, Jimmy got a shag in it like this. Yeah. That's the shit that you got to pick the motherfuckers up one at a time and just. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, you got to treat them shit like a coconut? <laughs> I love them yeah. shit. Yeah. That's the difference. I love them shit. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> but, they, but you know what I'm saying. But like I'm saying, like yo, who, like who are these girls? Like who are they really Ooh. trying to press? Like when they young and they ain't got nobody yet, they trying to attract the world. But it's like, mm. damn, that's yeah. a thought though. Okay, yeah, it's, okay. it's crazy, bro. I seen a chick man in a cat suit. And you can see that she I had her. with you more, my nigga. You see no, not because they just be at, they everywhere. You know, when you have cookouts, I got younger cousins, so they bring their little friends around. You just glance over, like this, this yo, you tap a nigga, like yo, this bitch pussy pierce. Like, bro, how you know that? Look, look at the tights, you see a little knot there, you be like, Phew. okay, you just what's like, wrong with that. It's nothing. You just, as an old ass nigga, you just look like shh, yep. shit. Is is that <laughs> thought behavior, <laughs> bro? You in your mind? I'm asking your, you. I'm asking you. Is that thought behavior? In your mind, you not saying this is a wholesome girl. This <laughs> ain't a nigga out there saying, "Oh man, she 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 probably goes to church three times." In your yeah. mind, you like, I want to see what this look like. You are already giving me a a a, a, a preview of to what's to come. <sighs> I need me a bitch with a pussy pierce to tell me that she goes to church three times on Sunday. I need it because I feel like that is not necessarily the reason why they get their vagina pierced. I'm not a piercing guy anyway. Let me ask y'all. Let me ask y'all. Let me ask y'all. Let me ask y'all. What you think about a tramp stamp? I'm about to get y'all real quick. A what about a tramp stamp? stamp? Meaning a tattoo on the lower back. You think that's for everybody else to see? Yeah. If that's your name on the back, yeah. <laughs> let you know, nigga, this mine. But <laughs> all right, you must have knew what I was gonna say. My wife got her name but, back there. My, yeah. my wife got my name back there, so I was that's, like, I was gonna say, so you saying my wife, oh, nigga? No, that's for you to sh- that's for you to show off. But if she got James on there and your name, she got Mike, James on there, she would be homeless right now. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying, you go meet her, and she got her shirt. She got her shirt down. Hey, and next thing you know, like she got James. And niggas like, who the fuck is yo, bro? Who's James? Oh, that's her last bit. That's, that's her last. Friend. That's her last nigga and shit. Oh, words. You let her come. You let her come out the crib with that old dog. Now you mad. Yo, and you should be mad. mad every time you hit it from the back when it's like yours. I'm, it ain't yours, really. <laughs> she let, yo, she yo, let yo, that, that's, know that nah, when Mix is done. James will be back. <laughs> but like you gotta be like say some. When you when you around here, nigga, you like, yeah, nigga, I bust a nail on that shit every time. I disrespect that tattoo all the time. I just shoot my load on that shit. Fuck that nigga, James. No, yeah, nigga, no, she can never wear. James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck James. But you can like yo, you like shit. Like you look at her different when you see if you meet her. She got the trans stamp. You're gonna look at her different. Oh man, who the fuck is that? You gonna look at it back like who the fuck is that? Okay, that nigga, that nigga got that nigga ain't got no angel wings, so he's still alive. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, what do, you, what, do you, what do y'all think about dating women with um dating women with uh tattoos of men's names on them? I I've known quite a few women that have tattoos of niggas' names that didn't get them covered up. Oh, that's my baby father. So yeah, it's still yeah, cool. I ain't I ain't covering him up. I'm like, all right. what do you think about dating those women? Uh, I, I was fucking you too, with Kev. Chick. Yeah, because I was fucking with a chick. I was fucking with a chick. Mm. She got the nigga name tattooed on her arm, but she was still fucking with the up. chick, nigga. Hey. Huh? I, I was like the side unless niggas. They, unless they ain't getting it covered up and they ain't going last. Okay, what if they get it covered up? That means you erasing the past, bitch. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, it's she hit that. The... You gonna hit the what? She gonna get it? You gonna hit you off, with the like? I ain't getting get... this off. All right. Well, I got mine off. I'm out. <laughs> you know what Shit. I mean? What if our last nigga name was Kevin? Playthrough. <laughs> no. Both of y'all. Playthrough. We never. We wouldn't even. Playthrough. We never last. 
Like you, you mean? Like, you was already you thinking about me. The sevens? Yo, what's wrong yes. with you? <laughs> no. I just think that's a dope ass thing. Like, oh, she just got a tight. Oh, this this is a true story though. Uh, I mean, the chick like, had that shit already like tattooed on her. She was like, Yeah, I already we was meant to be together. I already got your name tattooed on me. I said, Bitch, you crazy. In my head, I said, Bitch, you crazy. I say it to her face, you crazy. Like, no. it ain't my name. I ain't the Kevin you talking about. Yeah, it was, it was Kevin with a Y. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think her last name was Y. I'm like, oh, no, she just gonna put tall on the. <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> she gonna put an asterisk next to it. Oh, I got you. Hold on, <laughs> tall, <laughs> squared, <laughs> squared. <laughs> no, not. But I'm saying, but why? What's the uh, difference? What's the difference man. of them judging they got a nigga name tattooed on, or them coming out with these clothes on? I had another woman's name tattooed on me. No, I no, no, that no, shit no, no. taken off because I was in a relationship where I'm I'm not with that person anymore, and I'm with my soon to be wife. So that tattoo is gone. I didn't know that. You tattooed a woman's names on you, bro? When I was in another five year relationship. I don't, I don't got no chicks got my name on. I ain't. They used to say, "Can I?" They used to ask me, "Can they get their name tattooed on?" I'm like, "No." Yeah. I was like, "No, you're not. No, like, no. We ain't even. Bro. We ain't, don't tattoo my name on you. No. <laughs> nope. Yeah. I like. Where, nope. No. Where was the tattoo, bro? On my wrist. Oh, okay. I thought it was somewhere else. <laughs> Not on my lower back, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had it tattooed on his hip. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yeah. well, Kev talking. He got a barcode on his neck. When you scan it, a woman's <laughs> name comes up. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> whatever. Yo, but yo. No. <laughs> Get, you scan that barcode, you get a free abortion or some shit like that. Ho shaman. Hey yo. <laughs> hey yo, oh, what man. is wrong with you? <laughs> no, I'm yo, discount. I'm yo say he'll never take the tat off. That what? person just gotta understand. That person what? just gotta understand. Yeah, okay. She understand, yeah. all right. Hit you with that hot iron in the middle of the night while you're sleeping. Just sizzle that shit. Mm -hmm. I told you no, I every every time you get into an argument, she gonna be like, "Well, why don't you go back there?" And she gonna say that name Juanita. specifically because that's house. the name she see on you. You go know what I mean? House. Yeah. Uh, it's and it's more for. I feel like for if a man does it for a woman, it's more for the insecurities that they may have about a situation. You know what I mean? Just okay. like you don't want to be fucking your bitch, and she got the last person that she was with name on her and you like yeah, he was nigga what the hell you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying <laughs> and, or whatever the case may be there there's an attachment there that you ain't got really mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying you ain't up there unless you just got a list of niggas names everywhere wow. but so what's the so <laughs> I'm trying I'm asking your question <laughs> so what is the difference between her having his name tattooed on her and her, you know what I mean and her wearing the wild, crazy ass outfits. You it's know? a bunch of differences. You can cover a tattoo. Also, also, there are some. Like I said, my wife has my name tattooed on her. Does, she, does that mean that she be doing wild shit? No. Like you get what I'm saying? Like there. But is I'm no saying if you meet a chick, but if you meet a chick with her another nigga's name tattooed, you wear gray sweatpants. Yeah, I wear gray sweatpants again. Some people would consider know? that inappropriate. Yeah, I know. My girl, it's certain shorts my girl don't. I just got banned from wearing. Whoa, 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 whoa there, big guy. <laughs> whoa oh, there, man. Oh, whatever, we don't need, we don't need all that. All right, man. Banned from wearing that, shorts because your fucking dick is out. Get <laughs> <laughs> walking around looking like the creepy gym teacher. <laughs> so, again, like, nigga. what the fuck, my nigga? <laughs> so, let's be real. So, I'm asking you this question. I'm asking you, you need a girl and she got another nigga name tattooed on her. What's so much? You Why are you labeling her there? Why are you labeling her because she got another nigga name tattooed on her? You know, I'm not labeling her, which would, but you don't have but, to want to but, be in that relationship. You know what I'm saying? The fuck is that? 
You know oh, what this Yep. You Go ahead get your name up. tattooed on. I don't know. <laughs> Listen. Oh. Oh, you don't know who said that? <laughs> you know, we're not getting on that. I know who said I'm not getting no. I ain't got no female name tattooed on my body. That's not a female, bro. That's the love of your life. That's, That's why you see. I mean, come on, bro. What's wrong with you? Yeah. I got my daughter. Only female name I got tattooed is my daughter's name on my heart. You fuck this whole podcast up. I don't give a fuck. I can fuck this whole podcast up. Bullshit up. You go, go get Erica across your fucking forehead, nigga. Nah, man. <laughs> he got Wish it on his lower back already. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would do I would do that and then not give a fuck. Like, all right, what's up? Any nigga, then, any nigga we talk about, you're going to have to fight me. You know what I mean? You go where? When we go to the pool. Top shirts. They're like, that nigga, that nigga, they're like, did that nigga got a tramp stamp? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you know niggas with tramp stamps, bro. Oh. I see niggas. I I never seen it. I see niggas with tattoos. Like I know niggas got their chicks tattooed all on their arm. See nigga got multiple check chicks, different chicks tattooed on his arm. It's you know what I'm saying? Name uh, huh? Name names. I ain't naming this nigga. Nah, never mind. Him. I should name. He gonna be mad if I name him. He might not. But I love him too much to name him. I just think the ratchetness is really the same. We just older niggas who don't understand it now because we not in the ratchetness. Babe, we not get. See, look, we not getting names tattooed on us. What are you talking about? She's going in on me now. We're going to get our names tattooed. Yeah, because I've seen you say that you wouldn't do something and then do it no, immediately. Actually, I don't want mm-hmm. to do it and enjoy it. Yeah, right over there. Listen, stop watching these goddamn lies and shit. I ain't shit. I'm the number one supporter. <laughs> she knows. Bring your fucking ass on the mic since you ain't got so much to say. Get, hop on the mic. Get on screen with us. You gonna say as soon as you get tattooed, nigga? I'm down there. Let's go. Mm. Listen, bro. I wouldn't say nothing if you did get a tattoo. See, see, and that's a I, that's a conversation for a different day. Because to me, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you showing your love that way if that's the way you choose to show your love. No, it'd be, on like, it'd, be, it'd be like on a ring finger or some shit. Well, that like ain't that. your ring finger, but I understand what you're saying. Come on, motherfucker. You talking shit? Get on here. Yeah, get the fuck on screen. Yeah. Niggas, niggas, niggas talk shit. Get on screen. <laughs> Kev will be censored this is a recording. to hop on screen. <laughs> <laughs> That that but that's a conversation. I do feel like the ratchetness though is um it's yo it's ratcheting it up, it's going up. Is is I don't think so. It's not uh, is it the what same? Mean, like I maybe it's, it's going up like it's becoming more of a thing. It's more it's more so. like it's not it's not like in like small pockets no more. It's it's everywhere, you know what I'm saying? It's not like it's contained to the nightlife or certain artists, it just like yo, it's like in everyday life. It's like, yo, you look like yo, Shorty really came to like real shit. You be looking at some Walmart's like Shorty really came to the Walmart like this. <laughs> and you be looking like, yo, and then you see him walking with the kid, but they got what even fuck me up be worth. It'd be the little boy that got with him walking with a little kid. You'd be like, yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? Oh, that was, yo, that was funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, <laughs> niggas, look at that short, little shorty mom crazy. Like, you got to feel bad for shorty because niggas is looking at your mom in the most disrespectful way. There's no, there's no respect to her. <laughs> little, little shorty got his chain on. He think he... <laughs> little Jermaine. Yeah. Got his chain on. I mean, Kev. Kev. Uh, yeah, nah, making I'm this joking. up. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking about the chain nah. part. But I'll be saying that ratchetness has sparked mm. since way back. Remember when they had Freak Nick? Freak Nick, that joint really, really opened up the uh, doors. I feel like from saying. that point on, because God, there's videos was... they was out there wilding. I mean, think about it. They had BET After Dark, and you stayed up to watch these videos, Nelly videos, these fucking crazy ass. Thought videos you used to see that shit yep. was always around. The only yeah. difference that we have right now is there are platforms that are willing to push it openly 24 hours a day. So you can go on you. there. I mean, you could go on there and watch free porn. If you don't want if you if you want to see just women shaking their asses, you can go on Instagram and really just but look you're up. You can you're put up for- shaking asses and just you it's there for your enjoyment. It is it is a promotional thing now. 
But being, you're reinforcing what I'm just saying. You reinfor you reinforce everything I that's said. The, that's the difference between then and now. Hey, I don't think there was Emirates. any more or any less at this point. So I just think that it's but, being broadcast more. But like I said, it was like I said, you reinforcing what I said. It was in small pockets. You had to go. It wasn't everywhere for you to see. Freak Nick wasn't. You couldn't see Freak Nick unless you was at Freak Nick. Freak Nick now half the time as you go, nigga, Clementson Park. Perfect example. That shit was crazy. I ain't go. Clementson bro. Park. I seen the videos. I'm looking at the video that time at Clementson Park. Like, yo, where the fuck? Did, this is Miami somewhere. Like, where are these niggas? Wow. Like, Miami lit. It's crazy. <laughs> niggas <laughs> told me either. this is at the most <laughs> oldest, <laughs> whitest amusement park in the history of man that a, a urban station took over. And they just, man... You go to Clementson Park now. Even going to Clementson Park now, you'd be like, no. yo. Ew. I went to Clementson Park. I had took my 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 uh my my, my brother had a, a party there for his kids, so I took my kids there. I'm like, this is Clementson Park. Like, yo, why sure they got a thong going at the at, at the kiddie pool? Like this where the swim area is is all like is no, it's like two big slides for adults, but everything else is more like kitty, kitty wave pool. Everybody Lazy got yeah, yeah. Everybody, all the chicks got thongs on. All the chicks got two piece. Like everybody, ass hanging the fuck out. Okay. I'm like, yo, they got their kids with them. They got five or six kids with them. It's like three girls, with like like six or seven kids. It's three three girls, but they all I'm like, yo, like what happened to you coming out with the mom? You with your kids, the mom's Was babies. Right? Yes, some. I'm, I'm asking. This is um, when your body right, you do shit. Just I don't like, care. This is it, it, like men come out in wife beaters. I'm, I'm the, just saying. Compared, compared, compared with Lizzo saying everybody body right to you upshine her, but um, some yeah, they they, <laughs> they 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 body was right, but it's like yo, Dre, come on man, let's be real. It wasn't the Walmart bitches though, right? Nah, Dre, let's be real. How would you feel at seven or eight years old and your mm -hmm. mom got a thong bikini on? Um, I, okay, that's what I'm saying. It's 10, not like 10, 10, 10 years, years old, yeah, more, but it's but don't, it's 10 years you know old, saying, 12 I'm years old, more um, cognizant of what's going on. So, okay, I would say if I'm 10 years old and I see my mom in a thong, I probably wouldn't question it because that's my mom, I probably wouldn't question it because that's my mom, but I'm not gonna let nobody disrespect her. And I think that's what you mean when you say that if she wants attention that way, then she wants attention that way, or if she feels like her body is on point. A lot of people gonna want to show off their body. That's what you. That's what I'm saying. Like I think it's more of an attention thing that you're speaking of, rather than them um, being ratchet. It's more attention seeking. No, bro, it's it's cool to have attention. It's cool, but the shit ain't cool. It, it's not cute. It's not cute when you got you out there on some family shit, and you do got a couple of babies and some bigger kids with you. The shit's not cute no more. The shit's trife. Like you in a family. This is a. Bro. You judging. Fuck all that. Yeah, I don't give. Yeah, I'm judging. You in a family setting, dog. Like, come on. If we was this was a pool party for adults and shit, and mostly adults is here, and it's not a kitty thing. And this is an adult section almost. This is more, more bigger. Cool. That's cool. You get the attention you want. But you coming out there on a family outing, and there's multiple kids, and this is a kids. Clementon Park is not a big. It's not an adult park. These rides are mainly for little kids. You coming out there like that? Like you going, you you pushing the shit too fucking far, yeah. my. I'm, I'm sorry, Listen, dog. We're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna get off that particular subject, but let me offer you something else. You go to Brazil, you go to the beach, it's niggas in fucking basically bikinis, men in bikinis. How is that? And that's and that's culture. What do you say to that? Well. Yeah, that's their that's their culture. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I went on a cruise. A nigga from France, <laughs> fucking creeped me the fuck out. This nigga had a a speedo yeah, on, right? Him and his son. Okay, I'm you like, be looking at a lot of people, bro. But I, go ahead. I don't care. It's cause Doug, when you, I have the most fucked up mind. I Ooh. see shit. It's just I get flooded with jokes. It's just me just ripping on motherfuckers. I just automatically want to just like say this shit out loud. I I might even say this shit out loud. Y'all been with me when I see some fucked up shit. 
I just rip on it. I just go in on the shit. Y'all niggas be looking like, yo, y'all be laughing, but y'all be telling me to shut the fuck up at the same time. Like, bro, chill. But y'all be laughing with me. Say y'all yeah, don't. Cause, yeah, because ain't nothing worse than getting beat up by a nigga in a thong. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> where fuck you up. You know he in shape. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, like, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, dip on your ass. That's, that's, that, I, I guess, I, I, you know what, like, I'm maybe in, like, another 15, 20 years, that'd be the norm of society. Like, yo, half-naked females is out here. It's cool. It's, it's normal thing for them to walk around like that with their kids being half-naked. Like, there's no more, bro, picking up your kids from school. I seen some shit picking up kids. I'm like, yo, get you out of school. What the, kids, perfect example. My son's ninth grade graduation. I'm sitting there and you can see like some of these like younger moms and they got kids in the ninth grade. You looking at this shit like, yo, I know she ain't got this on at the fucking graduation. The teach you can see like she walked past, you can see the teachers' faces, you can see other moms and dad faces, niggas like yo, you like yo, you at your kids' graduation. Like, why are you trying to why would you come here like that for your kids' graduation? Like, why was that outfit necessary for this situation? Amen. Come on, man. Why was that outfit necessary at your kids' ninth grade graduation? Where boys are the most horniest. What you think that little nigga had to go through when the nigga seen his moms give him a hug the next the next year? Your mom ass fat. Yeah, you had it's to hear automatic. That. Yeah. Come on, bro. It's automatic disrespect gonna come because they're they're t- they're kids. They're still they you know they be in the tip grade. They're still kids. Like what will possess you to come like that to your kids shit? Now nah, yeah. Your kids always seen you dress like that, but now it gets exposed to niggas he go to school with. Now he's hearing the backlash at school. Now he's not cool with that shit no more. Like, mom, don't, I don't want you to come, mom. He's he not, he not going to tell her what, what how to dress. He ain't going to tell her not to dress, but he's going to say, her mom, oh, I heard you having a game tonight. Nah, mom, um, it's a way. Man, she we knew like, why you were sexy moms who they still had to go through that. She didn't have to dress no type of way. She was just bad as hell. But she was bad, like, hey, but yo, it was covered. Bad, it was covered I'm trying to holler at your mom, mom yo. Yeah, I'm trying it's to holler covered. at your, you know what I mean? But like, it was covered up, dog. This the situation I'm talking about, like, I think, what the f- You know what they say? Sexy moms choose Jif. Bro, she had on, like, the, I think it was, like, the bikini, like, a bikini top with this tight-ass, like, dress on and shit was just... <laughs> I was just yo, all the niggas you see, all the niggas look. My girl's like, I know you see that say, yeah, but I'm saying, like, yo, it's just son's ninth grade graduation. We are not at the club. Why the fuck would you come out the house looking like that? I could understand that your mom had a fat butt, big tits, or a nice shape, and she wears something, but she can't help it shows her shape off. But if you're exposed, she had one. Cause you 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 running around. Bro, I, had just, on, I just told you what she had on. You didn't tell me the that. mom had on a fucking bikini top, meaning it was like the little like a like a bralette. This this stomach all out. This little ass mini skirt, ass just hanging out. This little ass skirt. I'm thinking it's one of the kids' like sister that just there because you know they dress like that. You know you can't stop your 20 year old sister from dressing like that. Oh, this was this nigga's mom. And you seen the, the teacher's face is just like, you can see the, like the disappointment in all the older women faces. You can see the, the dirty looks from the teachers. And you can see the kids is like, yo, pointing like, who mom is that? Nigga is afraid to say, that's my mom. But she's going to come hug me after this shit. And now I'm be fighting these niggas all summer. These niggas going to be like, yeah, man, your mom, your mom, I seen your mom ass and that dress was looking crazy. Titties was... Yo, you will never invite your mom to shit again. You will not. You can't tell her how to dress. But what used to seem normal to you because she dressed like that, now you like, yo, I, I'm not inviting my mom nowhere. Like, yeah. <laughs> which, leads me, which leads me to the question that you had before using that young man in his, as an example. The woman that you wife dressing conservatively or dressing in the cat suit of skirts, that young man will probably choose to wife the girl that dresses in the cat suit and the skirts. 
Why? Because that's what he sees. That's what he consider. He don't consider it to be. He don't judge it. He just says that you- woman's expressing herself. She looked good. My bitch looked good. That's all he know. That's like saying a nigga who's seen motherfuckers smoke crack and having fun is like That's I'm smoke crack at all. Like you might not That's go that way. You might be like you, all, sir. You might get turned off. Like you might be like, yo, I went through hell and high water because my mom wore that shit at my ninth grade graduation. Now all through high school, like I'm going through hell and high water with niggas. Like I am not doing this again. Like I'm not. I think you're speaking from. I think you're speak, which is fine, bro. I you should have seen a young boy. Think about it though. You should have seen it. You should have seen the young boy face. All right, I was trying to get us. Okay. Nah, fuck all that. You should have seen. Know, I'm, though. I'm telling you from experience. You should have seen the young boy <laughs> face. It wasn't one of fucking like my mom's. It was more like, let's go. Like trying to ease you the fuck out the door. Like let's go. She, like, maybe she was looking for a teacher to take home, or man, maybe she just, got something going on with the coach. <sighs> gotta catch some niggas. Yeah, he gotta oh, yeah. start. He gotta start. Mama gotta have a life too, Jody. Nothing, nothing's wrong. Nothing, nothing's worse than your fucking football coach coming out the room, get pounded at your mom and say, "Yo, man, I'm seeing you at practice tomorrow, man. We're gonna work on your throwing." He's hey, starting. Hey, at least you know you start. Yeah, at least you know you start. He's starting, Nanny. She did that for him. So now his mom's really <laughs> a hero. Yeah, it's mom you a don't see it that way, but she's a hero. Yeah, your mom yeah. a, ho- a hero. All right. <laughs> you mix it, you keep it. Yeah, and switch that move. That hero that on that Eastern where you got it. You're a hero. All right. So I would like to thank everybody for joining us for this. This is called Ho Shaman. Starring, starring Kevin Dash wow. Robinson. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Listen, young man, I fell for you that day. I seen the look at you, the depressed look in your face. Young you looking man. at your mother. Yeah, you know what you did? <laughs> look right at his mom. Like, yeah, nigga, I'm looking. But saw, I feel bad you see, for you. Said, hey, Kevin, this is what he did. This nigga said, look at this motherfucking bitch. <laughs> That's what man, you forward. did, nigga. <laughs> forward, bro. All right, yo, we out, man. In this broadcast, man. Peace, man. <laughs>